Welcome to the HVAC Know-It-All Podcast. Recorded from a basement somewhere in Toronto, Canada. Your host and HVAC tech, Gary McCready, will take you on a deep dive into the industry discussing all things HVAC. From storytelling to technical discussion. Enjoy the show. Shaded pole motor. What what is a, a shaded pole? So a shaded pole is the cheapest, uh, most basic type of motor that you would find. Typically, they're used in bathroom fans or in um, refrigerator coolers, uh, like um, pop vending machines and pop coolers and that kind of thing. So they would be very inexpensive to buy, very inexpensive to manufacture, and they just do a very simple job. I, I've heard people call them, uh, refer to them as skeleton motors. Is there a reason for that? Do you know? Yeah, either skeleton or C-frame motors, just from their yeah. construction um, they're, they're a very simple type of motor. They just have a steel laminated frame that acts as um, the core of the motor as well as the motor frame. And then they have a single coil uh, that's wound around that frame. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen those, mo that style of motor, I've seen just go and go and go. Like we have a lot of um, little, uh, I wouldn't say they're little, but compared to like a, a larger HVAC um, rooftop unit, these are small reach-ins for um, we, we take care of a lot of them for a pharmaceutical site and they've all got these little shaded pole motors in them for the condenser fans. And every five years, the, the manufacturer, well, at least for one particular brand anyway, it, every five years is an alarm that shows up on the uh, controller saying replace the condenser fan motor. I think it's every five years, so, something, something like that. But we just go and check the amp draw of it. If it's within its range, we just reset the alarm. It's almost like it's, it's a money grab from the manufacturer. Hey, change the motor just because, right? But we check it, make sure it's good, and they just keep going and going and going. Like, they don't seem to fail very often, in, in my experience, anyway. So typically, because the load is so regulated, it'll just have a small fan typically on the shaft that yep. there is no excessive load that they will run forever. Yeah. The only reason they really fail is usually the bushing, bushings in them run dry, um, just with no lubrication or some contaminants mm -hmm. getting the bushing. And they would seize up, but technically they would never burn out because they could never be overloaded. Yeah, that's that's true because these fan blades are very yeah they're not moving a ton of air. They're not moving no. a, a huge amount of air, but they're moving enough air to keep um, to, to reject the heat off of the condenser. So I mean, we have kind of a cool promo code here that we're working with you guys on, and and that promo code is HVAC Know It All, and it's going to save the audience 8% on their motor. So I, I, first of all, I want to thank you guys for that because anytime the audience that's listening to this can get some value, especially in savings. Um, I think that's a, a huge benefit. So thank you guys for that. And, and how do they go about applying that? Is this at checkout? They would put that code in after they've made their, um, their selection and put in the, the shipping address and all this kind of stuff. Correct. Just type it in and it would self-apply. You'd see the, the savings right there and you can move forward. Mm -hmm. And I think we should talk about the brands of motors that you carry because you carry uh, quite a substantial list of brands that can um, be, I guess, be utilized for replacement of existing motors. So what are some of the major brands that you're carrying? For sure. So we have uh, NIDIC, which is formerly uh, U.S. Motors and Emerson, Emerson um, Gentech, Marathon, and Packard. Those are our top HVAC brands. Okay. Now, do you sell any OEM um, type motors that are like specifically designed for the OEM or is it, is it all sort of um, got a, a different part number, like an aftermarket type motor? No, some of the manufacturers, um, if we look at some older units that are maybe were built 30 years ago, um, where the, mm -hmm. o, the OEM was proprietary, proprietary 30 years ago. Um, some of the manufacturers have started building those motors again because the OEM doesn't build that product any longer. Um, they stopped building it 20 years ago. So some of our brands like NIDIC or Packard actually do build some of those OEM motors that are OEM direct replacements. Um, we don't carry any OEM motors from uh, carrier or train. In most cases, they have, the customer has to go back right to train or right to carrier uh, to get the exact same motor just because it doesn't kind of fit um, the, the uh, items we have. I see. Okay. But, but the, the wide range is there and you also have 
accessories. Um, what sort of accessories are you guys carrying? Uh, so we're carrying brackets, capacitors, um, shaft adapters, everything that kind of goes along with the HVAC industry. We also have some draft inducers, um, and we'll be getting into more HVAC products in the future. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Motor motors are motors are huge because I'm sure the average HVAC tech is going to be changing. Man, like it depends. I guess what whatever industry you're in. Like I could see residential, you're responding to a lot of calls on a daily basis in in the peak seasons, and there's probably a lot of dead motors. I probably change on a in a summer. I could probably change ten to fifteen condenser fan motors. Um, that that wouldn't be something that I would say would be far off within a year, maybe like 25 ish motors or so. So, I mean, I, I think what you've started here is, is, is pretty cool. Uh, we've already talked about, it. you don't have to get into the truck to drive to the supplier. Um, you can get it, get it delivered directly to your customer's location. Um, and then you can just go back when it's in. And, um, the only thing that <laughs> obviously don't leave the bill with the, the customer. <laughs> so they don't know what, so they don't know what you're, we're paying for the motors. Right. So, um, but anything else you guys want to throw in there to, to cap it off? I guess the only thing we can just touch on, you know, like you said, you're more of an industrial HVAC technician. So obviously we do carry full range of, of three phase motors as well. I think a lot of your oh, stuff sweet. would almost be classified more as an industrial motor, as opposed to an HVAC motor especially when you start okay. getting into that five, 10 up to, I don't know, sometimes HVAC can go up to 50 to hundred horse. So we do obviously have those types of products as well. Uh, yeah. We can also carry lots of 575 volt motors, which are specifically built for Canada. So in those industrial applications, a lot of newer construction will be 575. I think to your point too, about the marketplace um, to jump in your truck and go to the supplier, depending what city a customer's in, if you're in Edmonton or Toronto, you could just jump in your truck, go to the supplier, possibly get the motor. You might only waste a couple hours. But we've really built the marketplace to offer our technical experience, customer service, and product offering to everyone in Canada. So whether you're in Whitehorse or Atlantic Canada or somewhere in rural Saskatchewan, you still get the same kind of uh, offerings that anybody in Evans or Toronto would get. Awesome. All right, Corey, any last words, man? Uh, no, I think, you know, from, from your, your uh, listener standpoint, you know, one of the things we've tried to do is not just be uh, an online retailer, we want to make sure we have a voice behind that website. You know, it's all great and fine to find all the information, but then when you really get under the nitty gritty and you have that question that you just can't find an answer to, a lot of companies who are really web-based, you can't get a hold of anybody and it's, it's very, very frustrating. So we've tried to make, um, make it as much of an open door to our clients to, to find us and ask those questions as we can. Uh, and so far it's working very well and, and people seem to be pretty happy with the, the support they can receive. When you have that side of your business where you support technically your customers in, in that manner, um, it really elevates what you're doing on, on the business side. So I, I commend you guys for doing that. Awesome. So, right. That's it guys. Um, we went through some motors. We talked about what you guys are all about and, and some of the advantages of using sort of a, an e-commerce platform for motors. So uh, I want to thank you guys for your time tonight. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. you. Yep. Awesome.